Hello everyone, I'm Sign One News anchor Vanessa Paloma Bajarnik. Here's a quick look at the top trending international news stories making headlines today. If you post an interesting comment about this update, we may add it at the bottom of the screen. According to the Justice Department, a 45-year-old Iranian man named Sharam Pursafi has been charged for an alleged assassination plot against former National Security Advisor John Bolton. Pursafi is an Iranian national and member of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps who allegedly tried to pay $300,000 to individuals in the United States. The alleged assassination plot is likely in retaliation for the 2020 U.S. airstrike that killed a top Iranian Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps commander, according to the Justice Department. The suspect has not been arrested and remains on the loose. Authorities in Mexico hope to rescue 10 minors soon. They have been trapped underground for more than a week. Rescue crews have been working around the clock to access the flooded coal mine. But debris, obstacles, and deep water have slowed their efforts. Nearly 700 members of the Mexico military police and other government agencies are at the mine helping with rescue efforts. There has been no communication with the trapped miners in days, so no one knows if they are dead or alive. A Brazilian judge has ordered German diplomat Uwe Erberhan to be held in custody in connection with the alleged murder of his husband. The judge denied the defense of diplomatic immunity. Hans's husband was found dead in their apartment last week. He told police that his husband slipped and fell. But the judge's order says several lesions were found on the victim's body from blunt force trauma, a foot stomp, and possibly a wooden club. And there was blood splatter in the couple's bedroom and bathroom, indicating a violent death. CNN reached out to Hans's lawyer, but they were unavailable for comment. According to the UN Refugee Agency, one million people in Somalia have been displaced due to severe drought. Somalia is experiencing a two-year historic drought. The drought began in 2021. And another dry season is expected to displace more families. According to UNHCR, 7 million people will face crisis hunger levels in the coming months. The effects of climate change and rising food prices as a result of the war in Ukraine are making the situation worse. Hong Kong was once called Asia's world city.
But after years of social upheaval and strict COVID crackdowns, the number of people moving out is so great that the city's government is being forced to acknowledge it. Over the past 12 months, over 113,000 people have left the city. This is the second year in a row the population has declined. And it's the steepest population drop since 1961. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un declared victory over the coronavirus epidemic in his country this week. That's according to a state media report. He made the announcement nearly three months after the country reported its first case back in May. His sister also claims that he had deeply suffered from a high fever during the COVID outbreak. She also blamed South Korea for the epidemic and has called for a deadly retaliation against its neighbor. FIFA officially confirmed its decision to move the start of the Men's FIFA World Cup 2022 in Qatar. It was originally set to begin on November 21st. But now the first match will be between host country Qatar and Ecuador on November 20th. FIFA says it is its long-standing tradition to start the FIFA World Cup with an opening ceremony featuring the host country or the defending champions in the opening game. Ticket holders will be notified by email that matches have been rescheduled and that their tickets are still good. The Men's FIFA World Cup 2022 starts November 20th and ends December 18th. Sign One News will be broadcasting international news updates every Sunday. And a reminder, the Sign One News Saturday virtual show team is taking a break for the summer. We'll see you again in the fall. A big thank you to our Sign One News app supporters. You help make this broadcast happen. You can download the Sign One News app by heading to the App Store or Google Play Store on your smartphone. And you can also watch on Apple TV, Amazon, and Roku.